What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to dive. This video is perfect for beginners. If you're looking to dive off the side of the pool, off a diving board, or off the racing blocks, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to get started. There's no reason to be scared or intimidated. Everyone learned how to dive at one point, and if you're looking to master this skill, you've come to the right place. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and make sure you watch the video until the very end so you can learn how to master the swimming dive. Let's begin. You've probably seen a lot of swimmers diving off diving blocks like this, and maybe at the pool that you go to, there are diving blocks, no diving blocks. Don't worry about the diving blocks. That's not how you start to learn how to dive. Instead, we're gonna focus on some fundamentals, and we're gonna build our way up so that eventually, you might be able to dive off of a diving block or some kind of an elevated platform off the surface level of the water. But to start, we're actually gonna focus on what you do with your hands when you enter the water or even when you push off the wall when you swim regularly. So the first thing we're gonna focus on is how to do a streamline. So streamline is the fundamental body position in swimming. When you see a diver at the Olympics or you see anyone diving into the water, they're entering the water in what is called a streamline position. And that starts with your hands. The first thing that you wanna pay attention to is how one hand is immediately over the other hand and your top hand, your thumb actually grabs the hand underneath. And so go ahead and do that with me right now. This is how you start the position and then you're gonna reach your arms up and you're gonna stretch as high as you can. Now, based on how flexible you are, you might be able to actually get your arms all the way straight and lock out your elbows. If not, no worries. The more you do this, the better flexibility you'll get and it'll make it even faster and easier to dive into the water. But the most important thing is making sure your hands are actually together. You can certainly dive in with your hands in the Superman position, but it's a lot safer and a lot more beneficial to learn how to dive with your hands in the streamlined position. Now, once you've mastered the streamlined position, now we can move on to how you actually enter the water after pushing off the wall in streamline. Let's go. So we're in the water and I've got my hands in the streamlined position. I'm just gonna practice pushing off the wall in a streamlined position and I'm gonna sink underneath the water before I touch and then push off. So it goes sink, touch, and then push. Here we go. So I'm gonna go hand underwater, sink, After we've mastered pushing off the wall in a streamlined position, we're ready to add a little bit of elevation to it. So now we're actually gonna be sitting on the edge of the pool and ideally, if you can have your feet in the water for stability, you're actually gonna line up your body the same way. You're gonna put your hands in streamline and you're gonna just gonna reach out and you're just gonna slide your body into the wall, into the water, and you're gonna try and tuck your head in. It's really important that you tuck your head down or else your body's just gonna smack on the water. So you can start with your butt right on the side of the pool. I'm gonna line myself up in streamline and I'm just gonna fall into the water and I'm gonna lean forward and really lean with my head. If you don't lean with your head, it's not gonna work. So lean with your head, hit the streamline and then push off the stability of your feet and just worry about falling into the water. Let's give it a shot. Now that we've gotten comfortable entering the water with a little bit of elevation, being a little bit above the surface of the water, we're not gonna go to a full standing dive, we're gonna go somewhere in between. So we're actually gonna go down to the edge of the pool and we're gonna be in a kneeling position. So I'm gonna go ahead and kneel as if I'm a little bit higher now in the water, but I'm gonna remember my streamlined position. That's what we start with. So I'm gonna be in streamlined and then I'm gonna lean forward and I'm gonna dive into the water, but I'm really just falling in. I'm not really gonna focus on pushing with my legs, my legs are really just for stability, and I'm just gonna lean into the water. Let's give it a try. Once you've mastered the kneeling dive a few times, then we're ready to add a little bit of a push. So we're gonna try a kneeling dive again, but now as we lean forward and we're about to hit the water, we're actually gonna start to push with our legs and give ourselves a little bit more power to enter the water with a little bit more speed. Let's give it a try. But first, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Underwater Audio. They created a waterproof music player that allows you to listen to your favorite music, podcasts, or audiobooks while you swim. I got the chance to try out two of their music players, the Siren and the Dolphin. And I've gotta say, it's pretty cool to listen to music while you swim and jam out to your favorite tunes. You can load music files onto the Siren and shuffle through them when you're swimming. It's super easy to use, and you can swim all four strokes without worrying about them falling out. 
The Delphin is an awesome touchscreen player, and it's compatible with Spotify, Pandora, and Audible. And it's also compatible with a lot of other apps that you can load custom playlists without an internet connection. It also has lap tracking. All you need to do is clip them to your goggle strap. Waterproof Swimbud headphones stay in place even through sprints and turns. You can barely feel that you're wearing something when you swim. Underwater Audio is offering the My Swim Pro community a 15% discount. All the details are linked down below in the description. Thanks again to Underwater Audio for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back into the swim tips. Once you've done a few kneeling dives and you've gotten comfortable with hitting the water with a little bit more speed in the streamlined position, then you're ready to go to a standing position. So what this is going to do, it's gonna elevate how high you are off the surface level of the water. So you're gonna enter the water with a little bit more speed, but it's most important that you hit the water in streamline. Focus on driving your head into the streamline and find a point a few meters out or maybe one or two meters out away from the wall that you're trying to enter your entire body through that small hole, that one point. So let's give it a shot, standing dive. Here we go. In the first few progressions of doing the dive, you're gonna have your feet staggered. Once you get more comfortable entering the water in streamline, you're gonna actually focus on having your feet together. And this variation will give you a little bit more stability and power, and it'll be an easier transition when you jump off of something a little bit higher, like a diving block. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a standing dive again, but I'm gonna go with both my feet together in a standard start, not staggered. Let's give it a try. Once you feel really comfortable going off the side and going through the full progression, then you're ready to add a little bit more altitude to your dive. So if you have a diving block or a diving board or something like that, follow the same progression and the same guidelines of using a tight streamline and finding a narrow hole to enter your whole body through about two meters away from the wall. So now we're gonna go off a diving block, but it's gonna look the exact same. We're gonna lean forward, bend our, bend our knees, have a streamlined position, lean forward, and then push into our streamline. Let's give it a shot. Congratulations, now you can dive off a block or off the side or off a diving board. If you guys are looking to take your diving to the next level and you wanna improve your performance and enter the water with more speed, make sure you check out the other video I did on how to improve your racing start. Also, if you want workouts and other drills on how you can take your swimming to the next level, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app available down below in the description of this video. We have tons of workouts and dry land and training plans to take your swimming to the next level. Also, if you're not already in the My Swim Pro Facebook group, check it out. Link in the description, we have over 10,000 swimmers from over 100 countries, all passionate about getting better at swimming. So if you're not already in that group, make sure you check out the group. And finally, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, join the family, and also like this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I wish you guys a great day, and happy swimming. Take your mark.